This is uh, Hydra Dam. Uh, used to be operated by Potomac Edison. I don't know who it's. Uh, maybe still Potomac Edison. I don't know. It's in uh, Luray, Virginia, close to where I live. We used to come down here and fish all the time. We were kids. a lot different now than it used to be. Now there's fences up everywhere and all kinds of other buildings now. And I guess this is the only fishing access they offer is right here now. I used to be able to walk down to the other end of the dam down below there. Fish on the downhill side. I'll do some snooping and see what I come up with. Still pretty down here. Here it is uh, day after Christmas and I'm in shirt sleeves. So that's kind of ridiculous. Well, I did some snooping. As a kid, you didn't have to walk around all through here. You could just go down a path here, but these buildings weren't here then. And then you had to crawl down this great big old rock. But I know the rocks got a set of stairs on it now. kids would just cut right through there. We should go down that way too. I haven't been that way in a long time. I haven't been down here period in a long time, but it's been forever since I've been that other way. All this is new to me. These stairs used to be much different. They actually just went straight down there. That platform never was there and neither was this staircase. We used to go spend many, many, many hours out on that wall fishing. I've climbed all over that building right there. Game warden used to come down here and he'd see you sitting out on that wall he want to write you a ticket, but he didn't want to come out there and get you. He wanted to, you to come to him. Well, he tried to get us many times, but we never would come in. We told him if he felt like writing us a ticket, he could come out there and write it. there on the end of that rock and dive off into that water right there. Now I don't have deep it is, it's deep. I've never touched the bottom there. But if you dive off that rock into that water, you come up right about there. You just have some good times down here.
Ain't that cool? I wonder how long it took somebody to do that. I imagine that was long before my time. Scramble up and down these this piece of rock all day long. We dive off right here into that water. This here is low water bridge. And that bridge has never been in use since I've been alive, but I've been down here a lot. Go down here and go swimming and fishing as a kid, and I was planning on walking out there, except this area right here seems to be flooded, so. Don't look like I can get out there very easy. But I'm up underneath this bridge which I ain't as young as I used to be had to put a little effort to climbing up here but uh, this area I've spent a lot of time here well not a lot of time the past couple years Darlene and I have come down here several times and went fishing and swimming and different things but it was one of my haunts when I was a kid Uh, Robert Inskeep taught hunter education to all the kids in Page County Schools as long as I can remember uh, when he was alive and uh, uh, that's when people had common sense and uh, uh, didn't didn't uh, go off and kill people you know and if they did we didn't blame the gun Here we are in the wilds of Virginia, studying a bison, an American bison in its natural habitat. Actually, we're just outside of Luray, and this guy's got a farm where he has several of these, and they're mean. They're nasty. I know a boy who got uh, 
who works here, he was trying to run them out of the road. They were trying to cross up here, move them from one field to the other, and they wouldn't. They wouldn't budge. They wouldn't budge for the truck. He got out and tried to hit one with cattle prod, and it turned around and gored him in the groin. He ended up with an 11-inch gash, about an inch deep, right inside his thigh. So they are not well-tempered animals. I'm going to do very well just filming them from right here. 